Mm -hmm. And climate change, of course, definitely is a very big thing for everyone because COP26 is also happening in the UK yeah. later on um, this year, that is in the early, early, early November. Yeah. Uh, you've mentioned youth, you've mentioned uh, different programs which are happening. When President Uhuru Kenyatta came from the UK, yeah. we saw him the immediate, um, um, uh, I think uh, he paid, uh, he, he was given a visit by the you, um, by the Somali Prime Minister. Yes. And I saw the people asking, could it, um, is the Uhuru Kenyatta a messenger? Are there any kind of talks around that, maybe? <laughs> no, I mean, I was at an event where uh, both President Kenyatta and Prime Minister Robley were, were both in the same room, and then I sort of saw them gravitate towards each other and have a conversation. And it's always nice to see neighbours having a conversation and, mm -hmm. and getting on with each other. Yeah, especially neighbours who have been uh, having some kind of maybe uh, little diplomatic issues. and yeah, That is very yeah. powerful. Now on the mention of youth, because I think that is even why we're here today on yeah. this special day of the International Youth Day. Um, are there any specific programme that the UK, um, uh, that the Commission is doing currently with the young people with the, any youth programmes? Uh, I'm it pretty is. sure the listeners and the viewers are really interested to, to hear that. Yeah. Definitely. So we're doing quite a lot with the youth programmes and I'm, of course, completely blanking because it's far mm -hmm. too uh, early at the moment. Um, but we do we do a lot around sort of science and, uh, and tech, as I mentioned, so young entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So during COVID, we were partnering some young entrepreneurs uh, with sort of more experienced mm -hmm. digital entrepreneurs okay. to help them boost and, and grow their businesses. Uh, we supported Shujaz in the past, okay. uh, of course, which uh, is an amazing uh, organisation. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking at, we're partnering with the National Youth Council, for example, um, on supporting uh, youth under ICT projects, mm -hmm. uh, including there'll be some um, uh, mentorship uh, things available. No code. I'm really excited about no code. We'll be mm -hmm. training a hundred people mm -hmm. on how to do on how to code, mm -hmm. so you can help run your business and set up your own website. Um, uh, or your own online presence without any sort of overheads or having to buy somebody else in with that expertise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that there's also the feeling on the ground that uh, most of the young people benefit from this kind of programs are, uh, let me say, those in the universities or those with the degrees or masters. Is that the feel? Is, is that the case? Do you have any program that just targets generally the young people regardless of the education levels? And Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so all, all of our sort of youth innovation stuff is mm -hmm. targeted at people who are uh, entrepreneurs and mm -hmm. you know Kenya is a is a country of entrepreneurs mm -hmm. it's great I this is my seventh diplomatic posting and of all the places I've worked in Kenya is the one where I see the the energy the spark the drive to make a better life uh, mm -hmm. for yourself and for your family and mm -hmm. uh, uh, and for your friends so you know we we sort of support um, small holdings for example so our tweaker foods program connects food vendors with um, uh, smallholder farmings to get a good supply of food in. Mm -hmm. uh, we funded Link, which is a job matching service. Doesn't matter what your uh, education uh, level is, you know, if they, you can be matched to a job on there. So there's, there's lots of things out there. 